the student tech fee, it gave us the ability to put several recorders in two control rooms across our three buildings for lecture capture. Um, we have the ability to live stream events out from specific classrooms. Probably 60 microphones in three classrooms at the beginning of COVID so that we could go truly hybrid with um, all of our classrooms in our main building. I think it can benefit the students because it allows us to capture all the classes, um, having microphones in every classroom. Student discussion can be recorded better than in the past. Um, the, the asynchronous aspect allows students to not have to stress about missing a class because they're sick. I came in during what I would describe as like the heavy COVID year. And so that technology really helped us in terms of getting uh, recordings, microphones, making it easier for students to be comfortable either being in the classroom or being remote. And that technology has continued after that year. We almost always use the technology for some of our events just because we have either judges or panelists or lawyers from across the state or country that want to partake in our events, but they can't travel here, whether it's last minute or whether uh, travel to Tallahassee sometimes can be a little expensive. And so we get to take advantage of using that technology in the classrooms or in our rotunda to host uh, hybrid panels where we'll have some people in person, some people online or both online. Students who want to get up to speed and stay with the class instead of falling behind. Uh, and it gives them an opportunity to catch the things that were discussed during the class. If you've got a classmate taking notes, that's second best. But really to be able to go back through that video and audio, see the slides in the context of the conversation, I think those are particularly useful for a student.